qualities and all of that. We wouldn't have noticed that such a leader with such qualities existed. He came into government, chief of staff and all of that, at the point in time when he had opportunity to use the instrument of governance to, to the welfare of the people, and the results are there. His friends, his foes, people who are in his party, those who are outside, are, are all agreed on this. Let's use an international example. A certain local senator in Illinois, by, by way of uh, House of Assembly, in short, it's equivalent to House of Assembly, was brought to deliver a speech in 2006 in a, the Democratic Convention of 2006. And by the time the man finished that speech, he became a household name in America. Who was he campaigning for? A man called Kerry, John Kerry. And in his speech, he kept talking about how Kerry must be president. The long and short of that story is that man, that young boy that delivered that monumental speech, is today the president of America. And John Kerry, who he was campaigning for, is his secretary of state. So the youth must be encouraged. A situation where we are almost looking like they don't exist. Like, like I gave that example. A man who probably was born at the point in time when Buhari was head of state of this country. May well be about that something. If he's working in the bank, he may be a branch manager. He has children. He's married. And he doesn't have a chance. Because the man, that man who was head of state when he was born, still wants to be head of state today. Mm. And he's talking about change. And that he's a progressive. Do, do you share this, sorry, Mark, do you share this idea in your party? Because political parties count in all of this... Uh, change you're talking about. Are you the only one who has this kind of idea in PDP? No, no, no. Quite a number of us do. Oh, quite a number of us do. There are quite a number of us who have been look, looking at internal mechanisms of making the party begin to work towards the realities of the time. Because the realities of the times are changing. And you cannot continue to face cha challenges of change with conservative ideas that are fossilized, you know, that you are bringing from, you know, some 1970-something, 1970 uh, those days of 1980s. In short, I was flipping through an old newspaper. I found out those, well, some of the people who were campaigning for Abaka those days, that, that the man would have cap fit, are the people who are littered in the two parties we are talking about. They are still around today. How do you think So, in other words, what we are looking for now, Marco, is those who are states' names not just politicians, those who love this country. And for, for you to love this country, you must go away from the ethnic trench, which a number of people, for instance, in ACN are firing from. You have to come out from that ethnic trench Isn't and begin to talk about Nigeria. Isn't that a little to talk about Nigeria. Because, you see, the ethnicity, ethnocentrism and ethnicity are products of limited resources. You, 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 you might say that, you know, that they're, they're firing from there, but they might not agree with you because just in recent times they've been able to approve a merger. I mean, they've seen, they've possibly seen their weakness, uh, assess their, where their strengths lie, and, you know, are, are planning a merger to change the dynamics in 2015. How do you think that that is going to change to affect how the elections will go in 2015? Good. You just confirmed what I said because they, they were in a particular enclave thinking that, you know, uh, they were okay with it, and that is where they are firing from, talking about uh, uh, sovereign national conference to be or not to be. It's not because they haven't tried in other areas. I mean, no, there, there's, no, almost no but, election, but, 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 there's almost no election where the ACN hasn't fielded a candidate. I mean, even in the north, in the south, in the east, in the west, there's nowhere where they haven't fielded candidates. The fact that they didn't win there doesn't mean that they don't, they don't have... Uh, they don't have people the who reason belong they to their parties. The there. reason they didn't win in those places is because they are quite sectional. That is why what they have now realized. In short, what is going on now is that realization. Sectional. No, of course. That, 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 going forward, that, after that realization, they now said, look, we need to embrace other people. We need to do mergers here and there and all of that. The and that is why is they are coming a, together. The merger is not like about, I, like I said, about, about, about harnessing strength. This no, is not what the merger is about. It's, it's reaching out. That's the word, exactly. reaching out. How do you what, think what, this will affect what? the chances of the PDP in 2015? No, no, if anything, it makes PDP sit up. We're not afraid of competition. If anything, we are happy that that's happening. We're happy that is happening because by the time they come as what they call mega party, we want to look at the dynamics of this mega party. Where are they coming from? What is their strength? Add your perspective to this one. It's, because it's going to be very exciting. We have a comment from Hakim who says, look, 
Is it wise to expect parties with ideologies when a Nigerian, as embedded within the constitution, is identified based on his state of origin? Well, you see, what I have once said this too, that the moment governance is strong, it begins to weaken ethnicity. Some people will not bother where they come from. So long as they can find a transfer from point A to point B, their, their children can go to school, free education, they are not bothered about who provides it and all of that. Like I, I, I was saying the other day, if I'm driving through Sulere where it, the roads are so illuminated, those, those streetlights are not shining for the Yoruba man or the Igbo man. They are shining for those who live in Lagos. In other words, you're saying, even though they come from a weak pedestal, they can be strong still. That's, the point we are making is that the moment governance is threatened, it begins to weaken ethnicity. The, why ethnicity grows is because they, the gov government does not bother about you. Government does not bother about you. And like I said some, sometime, look at our old people, for instance. The old man who has served this country, who probably was in railways or where the PNT or whatever, if he's about to die, he is not entitled to Panadol. The government does not care whether or not, or not he's about to die. But you see, in other claims, he is entitled to free transport. All he needs to do is to flash his ID card. He gets into a transport and goes to visit his children. He goes to, to, the, to, to the grocery and takes food stamp I mean, to, to, to feed himself. If, if he's sick, he goes to hospital. The state pays. But here is one place where you are not entitled to Panadol. And don't tell Panadol as an old man. The government says, die if you choose to die. And that shouldn't be So the that is why you now recline to your children, your, uh, the people of your own ethnic stock, to take care of you. But we know that that isn't the same for every member of society. How, how of, do you mean by that? In terms of uh, those who serve in certain other positions, when they're taken care of properly, but other citizens, it seems yeah, to be... Yeah, probably, probably you're talking about the person's pension. The pension that we're still stealing now. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know where you're coming from. So, 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 so going forward, you know, with, with, 2000, with 2015, it's going to be very, very exciting. PDP is happy that, that uh, APC, if and when they are registered, uh, is coming on board. At least, let there be a contest. Quick one before we go. What about the reverse matter? I mean, how do you see that ending? The PDP crisis, because now you have a court judgment, and yeah. then yeah, there's a court judgment, and for now we we'll respect the court judgment. That is the position. All right, uh, <laughs> you don't have to go too deep in that. Mm -hmm. But Judge K, uh, a legal practitioner and a member of the party, thank you for coming on this morning. Thank you.